avoid too much of animation because that will add to the confusion. Now, for instance, this is a slide which you should not have. For example, if you see over here, uh, the title is being overlapped. The title is overlapped by a visual. And when I click, what happens? See, too much of animation, right? And too much of matter. So we need to avoid this kind of a slide because it doesn't convey anything and it only adds to the confusion. You might be excited about using the animation tools, but it's not leading you anywhere, right? So this is to do with pictures. Now use pictures, but don't let them use you. So your pictures should not be overwhelming. They should not be bigger than your presentation or more impactful than your presentations, right? Keep slides simple. I don't have to repeat this. You already know too many pictures make a presentation difficult and too much of animation is distracting. Now we come to the third step, which is delivering your presentation. What are we going to look at in this? The most important thing is body language, because let me tell you, 93% of what you convey gets communicated through the non-verbal medium, which is your body language, and only 7% of your communication is attributed to verbal or speech communication, right? Your eye contact, the how many times you make eye contact with your audience, whether you are able to hold them to your presentation, your voice. Is your voice a monotone or are you able to modulate your voice? Are you able to use the tone appropriate to the matter and the kind of uh, element that you have embedded in your presentation? Like earlier, I gave you an example of how you narrate a story or how you come up with a startling fact right and then your grooming how do you appear so it's your appearance the clothes you're wearing the hairstyle that you have and uh, the shoes you're wearing all of that is very important important the accessories is your appearance appropriate to the context of the presentation to the audience to which um, you are presenting right and we're going to look at delivering do's and don'ts right so in body language, take a moment to think what all comes in body language. Hmm? Let's see. Now you have three instances over here. Now, which of these do you think, uh, uh, what do they depict? What, what does each of this depict? Okay, let's go to the previous slide. Now, if you look at this woman she is shaking her head with a smile so you can't really make out it's a very confusing kind of body language whether she's willing or whether she's unwilling now this man over here he could be thinking about something right and this man clearly appears to be bored because he's also drumming his uh, fingers on the table so that's a sign of boredom plus he ha he's sitting like this as if he doesn't know what to do next so so see how even without words you get to instantly understand uh, what each of these uh, stances or postures convey now you can you can see you can make out that body language by itself it's not only about hands it's not only about face it's not only about your shoulder it's about all of them put together. So it's the way what it's what you do with your hands, plus the position of your face, plus how you whether your shoulders are drooping, they, they're sagging or they're alert, or whether you're shaking your head or nodding your head, all of that comes in body language, right? Now let's look at this. So smiling could be friendly, nodding could be attentive and alert. So this is nodding. This is shaking. So when you're nodding your head, it's like you're paying attention. Eye contact would mean that you're confident, you're focused, you're not afraid of looking your audience in the eye, right? So uh, all of this no, smiling, nodding, eye contact, these three gestures are very important when you're making a presentation because it sends forth a positive vibe. There's a uh, there's an element of aura of positivity that gets created around you. 